Hey everyone, today I'm diving into one of the most isolated and mysterious tribes in the world, the North Sentinelese of North Sentinel Island. This tribe, nestled in the Bay of Bengal, has captured the intrigue of anthropologists and adventurers alike, yet remains an enigma to the world. So, who are the North Sentinelese? Well, they are considered to be one of the last uncontacted tribes, living in near-total isolation for thousands of years. The island itself is part of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, but the Sentinelese have fiercely defended their territory, warding off any outsiders with bows and arrows. Their hostility to outsiders isn't just a random occurrence, it's likely a survival strategy to avoid the diseases and disruptions that contact could bring. Interestingly, the Indian government has imposed a strict exclusion zone around the island. This is to ensure both the safety of the tribe and those who might be tempted to visit. The few who have approached, including a tragic 2018 incident involving an American missionary, serve as stark reminders of the tribe's determination to remain undisturbed. But what makes the Sentinelese so fascinating? For one, their way of life has remained virtually unchanged for millennia. They are hunter-gatherers, relying on the island's resources for food and shelter. Their tools and weapons are crafted from stone, bone and wood, embodying a lifestyle reminiscent of the Stone Age. Despite their isolation, there have been a handful of controlled attempts to make contact. In the 1970s and 1990s, Indian anthropologists made brief peaceful exchanges of gifts like coconuts and bananas. However, each attempt emphasised just how important it is to respect their autonomy and avoid further intrusion. The mystery of North Sentinel Island and its inhabitants continues to captivate us. Their resilience and determination to live as they have for thousands of years is both awe-inspiring and a profound reminder of human diversity. As we marvel at their story, it's crucial to remember that their choice to remain isolated is one that we must respect. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the unknown. If you enjoyed this exploration of one of the world's last uncontacted tribes, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more incredible stories from around the globe. Till next time.